Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Tiny Rogues. Not Tiny Moans. We've got big bones here. Oh. I just love that sound for some reason. Good old Elden Moan. Uh, we're gonna random, because I don't know who to play as. Ah. Uh, wizard? Oh, come on. The Bandit, though, is a fun character to play as. On completing a combat encounter, you gain two to five gold. You know what? Let's play as the Bard. Why? Because the class was changed. I, I, sorry, uh, Bandit, we'll play with you in another day, lol. The class was changed, and I haven't played as the new Bard. I think that, yeah, the Cleric is the same. Doppelganger got a complete uh, rework, and the Bard got a rework. Now we don't have to spend like 10 rooms getting the, the magical pages of our uh, Bard spellbook. Now we have Encore. Repeat damage is scaled an additional time by the dexterity and intelligence scaling of your weapon. I don't know exactly what that means, however, all musical weapons in Tiny Rogues have repeat effects. I love the music, even though it makes no sense to have something so arcadey on the first floor. Echo is a stackable sound ailment that consumes all stacks to deal 87.38% of accumulated sound damage as sound damage upon reaching two stacks. A stack lasts four seconds as sound. This damage counts as repeat damage. So I guess it doesn't actually shoot repeat shots, it just counts as repeat damage. So there is a little bit of a synergy there. There is a reason for us to uh, build around repeat effects. I am a terrible bard. On dash, your five next attacks deal guaranteed super effective hits. You know what? It's one of those things that's not really gonna matter too much. Oh no. I don't know why I couldn't dash there. Maybe my, maybe my, uh, right, we have uh, longer cooldowns, don't we? Well, we got hit once, that's fine. It's gonna be a little bit of a slow start, quite literally. We need a better weapon, but we wanna try to get magic weapons. We wanna scale into repeat damage. They're not ranged weapons, unfortunately, so they're not gonna synergize with um, a lot of the, like, guns and cannons repeat synergies that you can get, but. There's like a, a, a hat that makes ranged weapons have a chance of repeating. That's not gonna work with instruments, unfortunately, but that's fine. Some duck quack well to the stream, how you doing? Didn't manage to stay awake last night to get the slice and dice game. That's okay, that's why there's a VOD and also YouTube videos. But I had a good time playing slice and dice last night. With a little bit of luck, we'll play a little bit more today because I really do just love the game. And I have to win more so I can uh, point and laugh at the Nor being like, ha, I'm better than you, I got more unfair victories. Lol, lol, lol. All right, so this, uh, this echo damage, it's pretty good. Every two hits is basically an additional uh, two hits. Evil deeds increase your alignment instead of decreasing it. Increased primary attack damage. Each point of intelligence additionally grants increased attack speed 2.5% total currently. Dex and Int would be nice to build into, and that's what we're doing with Encore. So you know what? The Norse's ain't happening. You're still playing unfair. You know there's seven difficulties, right? Have you beaten Brutal? Because I see that that is the next difficulty up. Brutal is, uh, what was it, you have to take uh, 20 different curse perks, or was it 11? I can't actually remember. I plead the fifth. The music is to die for. Increased stats granted by mana to mana draining weapons, and increased mana regeneration, or more top end damage. So we have, uh, we're gonna try to build instruments they all drain mana, so we can take Insight, we can take Dreamer. Dreamer is good for the top end damage, and then if you can get crushing hits, 
that is um that's very good damage but also better stats overall and mana regeneration i also like um because it will buff the damage like they both buff damage i think you want them both i'll start with insight though wisp wand acoustic guitar man mana scepter 50 percent mana drained is refunded i mean we'll take the guitar which is just better than a fey loot Part of me does want to like turn up the instrument audio because it's a separate audio slider, <laughs> but also at the same time, eh. The Norse says in Slice and Dice, brutal difficulty and the one after that have a disclaimer that basically says this is for fun, you're not supposed to be able to beat it. I mean, we're gonna still try at some point, so don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about that. All right, me and my donkey can get through this. I love playing difficult uh, variations in games. Like I love playing Slay the Spire's Ascension Mode. I'm liking the random helmet, random gloves, random boots. You know, at least you do get to choose. Um, I love playing the difficulty uh, ups in Slice and Dice so far. Cinder modifiers, some of them can be kind of annoying, but 10 is like a nice solid, solid uh, difficulty level to be on. Let's go for boots on dash charm. Okay, well that's terrible. Actually played a little bit of uh, Slay the Spire the other day. It wasn't on stream or anything. It was just on my own time. I um, played as the watcher. I played on Ascension 20, and I beat the heart in Act 4, because the Watcher is a great character. <laughs> it, was just a, it was just a random run that I wanted to play on my own. Um, I was trying to get the, oh, you know, it, this was the day when my internet went down for 12 hours and I couldn't stream because of some unscheduled maintenance that the ISP had to do. I'm, it was actually out for not only me, but for like the entire city. And uh, I tried to get my Steam Link working so that I could actually stream from my computer to my phone. And uh, I finally managed to get it to work and then I played some Spire and then I just won the run because it was it's a fun, fun game and a fun character. And uh, honestly, the Watcher's kind of a overpowered character in that game and I love it for that fact. But also, after the first boss fight, um, I picked up Lesson Learned and then I got uh, Fusion Hammer. So that's just like, yeah, GG. Hmm, Flix Armor Break, or oh, the Slow Puspita. I don't know, I'll take some kunai. Let's go to Good Shop, Lollipop. Mana Drain Refund, one pixie. Once per room, Spending Souls grants gold. One boss reward, increase attack speed, with guns and cannons. On dash, your three next attacks with a gun or cannon are guaranteed to repeat. Here's the thing, we might not go magic weapons forever. We might end up getting a gun. I don't want this much strength. I want to scale dex and intelligence. But if we can get a, um, we can get a, a solid gun, I'll take it, especially if it's a gun that repeats, and especially if we get the set that allows us to repeat. The energy saber deals energy damage. I'll hold it. Oh my god. I hate this guy spawning in like as soon as you kill one enemy. Could be could be worse though. I'm also not managing my mana at all. So sue me. Ah! Thank you. Just me or does Lich look like the crow from Slay the Spire? He did kinda look crow-esque. 
Sun Jump, welcome. Did you ever play Returnal? I did. Playlist of that is up on YouTube. I played Returnal. I loved Returnal. It's a great game. Would highly recommend. I even played a little bit of the, uh, the Endless version, Tower of Sisyphus. Which is fun, but the difficulty in Tower of Sisyphus scales so much that it, it becomes unfun, I think. When you get to a point where you just get one-shot by things, I'm not a fan of one-shots in game anyways, and I think at that point it's just, it's tedious, because there's so many bullets and there's so many enemies. Um, but it is a, uh, it's a very fun game. Oh, wrong button. Academy Kill says you need to finish it. I mean, I pretty much did. I beat the game. Didn't I? Minus 20% gold prices of items in shops. Grants gold upon entering a tavern. Okay, keep them. You're green and you have a donkey, is this Shrek? No, I'm not nearly as ugly. Story mode, there's three acts. Oh yeah, so I, I beat the game, but I didn't beat beat the game, because there's like a true final ending or some BS like that, which I, I guess, yeah, I could, I could go back to and I could complete quote unquote Returnal, but I think I, I, think I got my, uh, my fill, you know, I don't I don't feel the need to 100% the story mode. I'll leave that up to the viewer. If you would like to see the story mode, do it your damn self. <laughs> no, no, like, I guess it would be fun to do because I do like the game, but. You know, I don't have to 100% every game. But I, I know that there's so much content that I missed because I, it, let me just say, it didn't take too long to actually get through the game. As a result, um, I didn't get all of the, like, death cutscenes, and I didn't get all of the lore cutscenes. Okay. Wait for my mana to come back. Man, we need more damage. Face cam when? Never. Coffee cam? No. Don't worry, I will never put up a face cam. You don't have to worry about that any anybody and everybody. It will... it will be fine. <laughs> Resting damage to melee attacks grants a chance for sword attacks to repeat. Touché on God. Hits with repeated attacks from swords trigger your on-kill effects, and four seconds after that, your on-combat start effects are also triggered. I mean, literally, this does synergize, so we'll take it. How many games outside of Gungeon have you 100%ed? Like, do you want me to go look on Steam in the achievement list, or...? I only have one curse game, come on. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I don't know. I just, I play games until I'm done with them. I mean, this is a sword, right? We don't have on-combat start effects or on-kill effects, though, so... But man, I need a better weapon. So I'm gonna go for the Dragon Slayer chest, because that one will kill me! The stream computer is theoretically set up, and, uh... As such, I guess maybe we could try some Helldivers tomorrow. It is, uh, it is functional. I'm wa- <sighs> I'm wary because I know that my friend Chris has been doing the same setup, and, uh, he's had some, like, audio desync issues. But, I guess I won't know until I actually try. Okay, weapons, please. Kazoo. Guaranteed crushing damage at close range. Topaz Wand. Gemini Daggers. 100% chance for attacks to repeat, but very short range. I 
Actually, this is a pretty okay weapon, it looks like. Actually, that seems way better than what we were dealing with. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. There we go. There's game unlocks, I will go 100%, says username. All range damage is considered to be close range, you say? Is this ranged? This is an instrument magic. I don't think it'll work. I don't think it'll work. There's synergies, so I'll take it, but I don't think it works because it's not ranged damage. Now, that's the second level up. I've been here for the Hey Abe, did you change your mic conversations? It's only been like two conversations. And also, I appreciate people asking just in case I have like altered my microphone settings. Sometimes it just changes for no reason. Yeah, it does not, what's with the battery? It does not seem to be giving me Battery enchanted. Yes, but what does the battery do? Uh, it does not seem to be giving me crushing hits all the time. Increase attack speed, orbital speed, mana regeneration. Probably attack speed. I'll take the HP as well. Man, it's just such a better weapon than what we were dealing with, though. Thank you. Okay, we have so many things to sell. Don't touch open world RPGs, not my thing, says username. Is that a threat? <laughs> I, uh, I like Western RPGs. I don't like um, JRPGs. Are we, are we just gonna buy the meat shank and go meat build? Plus one luck, suppression on dash gain, combat prowess, 30% increase in melee damage, critical hit chance, 13 souls, oh my god. Poison stacks, stamina recovery speed, body damage, meat, flail, bombs, rope, bombs, shotgun, gatling gun, pulse pistols. Enemies hit by multiple bullets take full damage from all bullets. Not sure what that means. I mean, it's a gun. I think we can wait for a better gun. I will buy stats when they show up. I will... Oh, it's double buffs. I'm gonna sell the ring. I don't think it's very good. And I'll keep everything else. We're gonna get another pawn shop in two floors, so we'll just sell some stuff then. Kazoo doesn't need to be upgraded. Did I buy your dice? Now I will. Probably spend some money on heals. And uh, let's get some booze. Any interest in Dragon Dogmas 2? Uh, I never played the first game, so I would I would say I don't really have a super oops, a super interest in Dragon's Dogmas 2. I hear good things about it. I, I've heard good things about the first game. Don't you dare play Zelda on this stream, or is that a you don't want to watch it, or you want to save the game for yourself? I do know that, um, I haven't played a Zelda game recently, but I know that the the new ones are just so long. They're very long experiences. I don't know if I would want to play them. Mech, the two is the one sadly says Ashen Ran. 
Dragon Dogmas 2 is the one? It is the one. The one. Um, I guess we're going... I want to go good. There was just nothing in the shop. Maybe we should go lawful in that case. Um, in which case, it doesn't matter what we buy here. I'm just going to... Helmet, helmet, or garbage. I don't know. Buy a helmet, I guess? This helmet doesn't even have an attunement time. Interesting. Gameplay's the same, story's the same, graphics are the same. Session <laughs> ran. Oh, about uh, Dragon's Dogma. Oh, well. Rip. Not every game is worth 100%ing. Sometimes you just have. You just get done having fun, says Milt Thompson. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to 100% a game. I find it easier to do so in games that are made to be replayable. So, a lot of roguelites, I find a desire to replay roguelites because they are more replayable, straight up. Straight up. You know, if I finish a game and I finish a game quickly and I miss some content, do I really want to go back? Yo, the cheese. For instance, uh, Returnal. I finished Returnal very quickly. And as a result, I don't really feel the need to go back and replay it. It is a little bit replayable. It's designed to be, and it has that endless mode, but... I don't feel the need. Aha. It's the wine room. We get wine! Hold on! Booze. Nothing there. Nothing there. Why am I not getting anything? Aha. Uh -huh. Rum. Lucky hit chance. Sure. Increase attack speed? Sure. I'll take it. Maybe we could just be the, the boozy bard. Maybe I can change my, uh... My Twitch channel name just become the Boozy Bard. Probably hasn't been taken yet, right? Dragon's Dogma 2 is prettier than the first. I mean, it. it Dragon's Dogma 1 is probably an old game at this point, let's be honest, so... I also imagine that the second one will look better. I'm a knight. Can't be impressed with your kazoo. Go into battle. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, got some booze. What's your legendary brew? Increase melee attack speed. Nah. No, let's just reroll. Uh, we're unfortunately a bit strengthy. Ah, perfect. I don't want to be strengthy because strength doesn't scale repeat damage. And Dex and Intelligence does. Alcohol and music isn't exactly a good combination. <laughs> Hate to tell you this, probably a lot of your favorite music was written, performed, and recorded while the performers were probably high on many things. And or drunk. Mana additionally grants top end damage or guaranteed crushing hits at halved equip load. We have more than enough equip load. It also means we can reroll that perk now. Crazy Evan says, drugs and music is like the perfect combo. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Hey, let's remove that curse and then make this useless. Snoop Dogg never did rap and drink, says some duck quack. No, he's responsible, that's why. Ow. This is terrible dodging. Ow. 
Ow. That was a terrible fight. <laughs> Fire fireballs. I never did. Use this on the last run. On non-triggered lucky hit, trigger barrage of fireballs. On non-triggered lucky hit, fire an exploding dove. Let's go for this one because it's rare. So it's got to be better, right? What's our lucky hit chance? 5% because of the rum even. All right, maybe we'll uh, put that in our back pocket for a while. Increase magic find, add one block, add lightning damage. Uh, all right, we'll go Law Path, but we need to get more uh, shops in the future. I'll do it. I'll do it. Jellyfish. Does this mean we're fighting octopus? I know that's a different animal, but... crazy or did I see the shark when I walked into the room? Do we need a better gun? I know that the kazoo is pretty good. I need a better gun. Bell. Ceremonial knife. Druid sickles. Alright, what's the bell? Ow. Honestly, that seems pretty good. <laughs> Now, do we want to hit up a cursed shrine? I like the effects of shrines because you do get like permanent stat scaling and such. Um, let, let's do it. Let's go to the shrine. Maximum stacks of shock, power, or 30% increased repeat damage. Yo. The middle one seems useless. However, 30% increased repeat damage is very good because we're doing a lot of repeat damage. Echo is repeat damage, but plus 20 power is also basically plus 20% damage for everything, including the echo repeat damage. So I think we want power because power is more damage, which is more repeat damage, right? That's a real good get, though, from the Curse Shrine. I like it. Now, we did uh, have to skip out on the pawn shop, unfortunately. Oh, well. Whoa. Wrong button. Shop or blood chest? I don't need to go to the shop. Do I need to get rid of my HP? No, but I will. Sheriff Boots. On lucky hit, grant swiftness, and on dash, you have guaranteed repeats with weapons. With guns, rather. Okay. We're not gonna use this now, because we don't have a gun, but if we if we do get a gun, we're, we're gonna be glad we have power and not repeat damage, right? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's go for a new accessory. Milt Thompson says, Curse is meaningless anyways. I wouldn't say it's meaningless. Somewhat meaningless. Sometimes it can matter. I like getting, you know, rewards and not getting penalized. Dice gives money. Armor is armory. Leprechaun hat is lucky. Power orbital. You know what? Um, works on the kazoo, works on the bell. Does not work on the bell. Works on the kazoo. 
Another plus 20 power and then charming enemies, why not? You will love my music. Hey, Jornker, welcome. How are you doing? Grants two to three souls, tiny soul. I, what? <laughs> well, we can, uh, we can go there. Okay, I think I need to fully recover though. It's four HP. Two keys, don't need it. We're gonna continue going for the Int and the Dex because it scales our repeat damage. And we'll see if we can't uh, keep finding better equipment and better weapons. Luck and Curse are equal to the greater of the two. I mean, right now, it's a benefit. I'm gonna take this. My bard hat. Looks like it does take a moment to attune, that's fine. Having some lucky hits combined with free fireballs. Wrapping up some game development stuff. That's very interesting to hear. What was it the Norrin chat was just talking about that? They were like, I've been working on a game in my own development time. And I'd like to do that at some point too. I just need to actually find like a Time to learn how to program in Unreal. Hmm. We could go Cursed, Lucky Hit, Chain Lightning, Lightning Conductor, or Apocalypse. Apocalypse is fun. And we, we use mana. I'll take Apocalypse. Kind of hoping we would get the mana star here, but that's fine. All right, hold on. Hyper beam. Hyper beam. We have hyper beam, Lady ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. Now, do you, do you think it works? Do you think it like works when you walk into a room now, or does it is it still broken? <laughs> Oh God, it's Hyper Beam. <laughs> hyper Beam with guaranteed crushing hits. Fire in my laser. I don't know where you're getting the fact that I sound like an old American gold prospector from inscription says the Nor, but I guess that's my voice now. Back in my day, we had to work for our supper or we wouldn't get anything. Spent a long time in those mines. Oh no, it's still broken. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> what, what do you mean it's recharged? Stop. Don't do it. Did it bug out because I upgraded it or something? Okay. You f I hate this weapon. It's like the best worst weapon in the game. No, st stop squeaking. I also have so many potions, what the heck? Plus one luck. This actually makes our curse higher now. And these are the sheriff boots. We'll keep that and get rid of this. Stop squeaking! You piece of garbage.
fire! <laughs> you dumb weapon! God, I hate it! Why is it so bad? It's happy, it doesn't make me happy. A non-triggered lucky hit do things. Yeah, I kinda like that. It's such a, it's such a good, bad weapon. Cause it never works properly. Maybe, okay, I have an idea. Here's my idea. What if I just never have it equipped? Maybe it will fix itself by constantly swapping away from it. I don't know. I got no other, like, idea. Oh my god, we're gonna be so drunk. So you're telling me the happy buff doesn't make the user happy? Quite unhappy, actually. Well, not, not with the buff, with the weapon itself. Also, unfortunately, these don't seem to home. Which is disappointing. So we're just gonna we're just gonna use it as a boss killer and then hope that it actually works when we switch to it. Increased effect of cold. What a scam. It is pretty scam. Increased trigger damage plus lawful plus good. We'll go trigger damage. That's a weird thing. I'm just becoming super lawful. Um, four of seven booze stacks, huh? Well, booze it up. You know what? I will have you patch up my bag, and then I will buy some beer. There you go. Is this a gun? Probably doesn't count as a gun, is it? It's not a repeat weapon either, unfortunately. Shop, stash, I have no money. Yeah, I'll go for this. I think maybe I figured out how to fix that hyper beam staff though. I hope so. Otherwise it's like garbage. It might just be garbage, but... Magical bow. Increased damage in mana burnout. Magical bow. Power also increases debuffs after not attacking, gain Hunter's Mark. Grants you an aura. Well, they, they all suck, but I guess aura is the least worst, technically, maybe. Okay. Wait for it. Doesn't work, okay. He's still off screen. Yeah, it, it, it seems to work way better when you swap away from it for four seconds. Uh-oh, it squeaked. No, maybe we're fine. <laughs> Plus one to lightning upgrade level. Yeah, something tells me it's not a lightning upgrade level. Um... Jeez, I don't know. It's all garbage. Uh, do I have to take something? Can I reroll? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. You're the more rare one. Oh, I, I, I can hold you. Okay. 
guess we're going lawful. Increase damage depending on how lawful you are. Energy damage. Energy damage. Magic find luck. Dump this. Dump this. Can't afford it! All right, well. Well, you know, I gotta buy something, I think. Just so I'm at plus four. Get out of here, Larry Jr. You know... As long as we just stop taking damage, we don't need the soul heart. Unicorn spear. Rip. Legendary weapon! Do we need another one? No, but I'll take it anyways! The Phantasm. Increases damage dealt to feared enemies, sp spawns a Phantasm companion. The Siren. Primary attack deals damage and charms. Charm has double effect. Obliteration wand deals fire or dark damage. Fiend Commander Codex summons a Hell Portal Totem that deals striking damage with its primary attack and inflicts companion sign. Also grants four imps. I like the idea of it. Of you have the imps do damage because it gives you four of them. But we are this build. So we're going to take the siren. But I want to take the other one. <laughs> um, Why do I have this equipped? Oh, because I picked it up. Yeah, that, that one makes sense. What's our curse at? One. What's our luck at? One. I'm just gonna puke on the floor. I'm selling the bell. I'm selling the kazoo. I'm selling the emblem. Yeah, at least it sounds better too. Do 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 diddle do 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 do. Lucky hits grant swiftness. Uh, increase attack speed with guns and cannons. Bassinet, fencing mask. Lucky hits give you fireballs. Let's dump the fencing mask. Let's keep these. On dash charm. Dump the boots. Can I equip this now? I can. All right, dump the mask. There we go. We've lightened our load a little bit. <laughs> you know what? We could get gold when we enter a tavern. I'm just gonna take my clothes off. 50 equip load capacity boots. Ruthless chance at close range. I've, it's not ranged, unfortunately. Dexterity additionally grants increased dash length. All right, I'll buy the boots. Got the set. Um, increased damage at close range, ruthless hit chance at close range, but we're not actually at close range unless we're at close range. But I guess with the with the the hyper beam will be at close range, right? Yeah. Increased damage dealt to charmed enemies also kind of okay, but I think we're fine as we are. There's more stuff. Snowbrand and arcane shuriken, sure. Why does the harp seem terrible? <laughs> Blacksmith. I guess we'll um we'll upgrade him. Clunk clunk 
clunk. I keep hitting the wrong button there. Petrified armor or a pair? We're not gonna level up anytime soon. Let's go for the extra armor. I've been taking a lot of dumb damage. And we gotta get up close and personal to use this weapon anyways. Not the siren, but the uh, hyper beam. Harrison, welcome. How are you doing today? That's not gonna work. Epic item. Cooling down. Now will it work? You like XCOM-like games. If you're asking me, oh hell yeah. I've played XCOM a ton, XCOM 2 a ton. People keep saying I need to go play uh, The Long War, but I don't know if I want a war to be that long. We need more, more damage on the Hyper Beam staff. Did you already hear about Shard Punk Verminfall? That sounds like four different titles of games just pushed together. I refuse to believe that is an actual, like, real word. <laughs> Mana Flux additionally grants power. Increase effect of charm. That's tempting. More damage to charmed enemies. Charming an enemy inflicts vulnerability. We've got, like, a set here we could maybe roll. 10 primary attacks, firing missiles. I wonder how that works with Hyperbeam Scepter, honestly. But um, I think we'll uh, go for the princess dress. Shard Punk Verminfall. Yeah, but like it doesn't sound like a name of a game. It sounds like word salad. Because there's Frost Punk, there's probably a game with Shard in the title. Vermin Fall, it's like Vermin Tide, and then X Fall, because every game has to have Fall in the title. It's like, what is this? It's a very strange name for a game. There's Rats and Shards. <laughs> I got that from the title. That is a Steam demo. If, if In that case, point it out to me on Discord so I remember. Otherwise, I will not. Well, we can use this. Use this. Happy the Siren, happy the Hyper Beam Scepter. I'll take it. I like being happy. <laughs> if only it was that easy. don't become encumbered, but I want to level up. Whoa! Easy, buddy. When you taunt or charm, gain arrogance. Double damage with non-crits. Man initially grants top end damage, 0% currently. Why is it 0%? Probably because I don't have any mana. It's all uncharged. Um, probably in mana burnout. 22% more. I mean, Dreamer synergizes with Insight. Arrogance is just double damage on non-crits, which happens all the dang time with our weapons, because we don't crit that much. We only have a 16% crit chance, so it's a huge damage buff. With the crushing hits we get. Um, this is also a huge damage buff, but only when we're not in mana burnout. Gaining arrogance whenever you charm an enemy. You just attack once with the siren and then switch weapons, which on boss fights we're going to be doing because we're not... We're not going to open up with the hyperbeam scepter because it doesn't work correctly. And if we can build into, uh, like, 
cat ears. We can even have more damage on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Taking uh, arrogance in this one, I think. It'll happen all the time when we attack. It should. Now I wish I did have the boots, by the way, but I think this is also good. Ruthless hits at close range is gonna happen constantly, even though Charm is a far range ability. But, like, we walk into a room, we hit one enemy, we get double damage. That seems like a no-brainer. Um, we don't need to upgrade. So I will hit the right button. And yeah, actually this pays for itself. Cake. Let me eat cake. I haven't had cake in a while. I like cake. All right, there's a lot of stuff here. Hold on. We are gonna level. We already leveled up. Never mind. <laughs> we may have leveled up. I suppose what I need next is uh, more uh, obsidian dice so I can reroll things like advanced ballistics, which is just useless. Aura of Chaos. I hate to say it, but we can't because it will lower our uh, lawfulness to the point where we can't do the final boss. So. Uh, I think I remember what this is, and it's not that, like, impressive anyways, so... Rip me! I guess. Not for your lucky hit. I mean, I, we do lucky hit often. 20% chance our weapon's lucky hit. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. I'm surprised at how little damage that Hyper Beam Staff does. Last time I had the Hyper Beam Staff, it crushed, but... We haven't built around it, I guess. Funnily enough, the Harp is doing way more damage. Increase effect of booze. Plus two mana. They're both good. They both have equal weight to them. More mana stars means we'll get more damage multiplier, 46% more. But we can have seven boos. <laughs> Um, dexterity scaling is also interesting to just make the weapons do more damage, but I don't think that's necessary. Actually, you know what? The Hyper Beam Staff doesn't even scale with uh, dexterity, now that I'm looking at it. Maybe that's part of the problem for it having relatively low damage output. We'll go for the... Boo. And not equip it, because <laughs> if we equip it, we can't walk. Well, no, that's not how the game works, but... I'll walk more slowly. Set item and a key. I'll take a set. Yeah, as much as I want the Hyper Beam Staff to work, this is just a better weapon. Which is not to say that it doesn't work. This is just a better weapon. All right, now... We're a cat maid. Periodically charms all enemies. Charm has double effect. We do more damage to charmed enemies and they take more damage due to vulnerability. He's done it.
Luckily, the uh, hat didn't have an attunement type. Yeah, I'll take a Golden Clover. Lucky hit chance. We have a couple of lucky hit effects. and bombs. I'll take some keys. Like, we are killing things super quickly. Way faster than if we were using the hyper beam. Oops. You know, we don't need the jousting armor. I'll take the thing that actually, like, buffs our own damage. Because all of the repeat damage gets increased. We have 32 souls. Voodoo Demon, 5% increased attack speed, times four. It's quite nice. 107, 95. We don't need the donkey. Donkey! Increase repeat damage with the bat. There we go, now we're talking. Although, 20% uh, increased attack speed versus 25% increased repeat damage. I don't know, attack speed, probably. What's your repeat damage percentage? I don't know, does this show? Can we see that anywhere? Three shrines, seven tipsiness, seven status effects, 10 dice used, weapon rarity 32, five. Probably not in defense. Um, base sound damage, total weapon damage. Chance, chance to trigger repeat zero, repeat damage plus 192. Repeat damage plus 192%. That seems pretty good. So we can either increase that 25% or attack more. I think we would, ra I think we would rather attack more. Because by attacking more, first of all, we get these little chompers. By attacking more, we get more instances of repeat damage. And now we should be at, uh, yeah, plus five. All right. Why am I so slow? Oh, we got withered. Ugh, push through. You were a good mule, Molly. Ashenran, did you name the our mule? Didn't know you were on a first name basis. Sorry, Gary. Hey, you know what? The hyper beam staff is still pretty good. I think we do get more value out of the repeat. All weapons drain mana, useless. Defy death, useless. Luck, useless. Mana, useless, 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 useless. It's all useless. He brought with the donkey. You're a donkey. It's all useless! Um, you know what? Sure, give me some favor. Give me some mana. It does affect us ever so slightly. Until we hit mana burnout, that is. You know what? I'll do it. Well, we're gonna teleport. Woo! You know, I'm wondering if you can dash out of that. I don't think I've ever really tried. Boss reward offering 10 to 20 radiant damage, increased pickup radius. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Two stamina, primal death, bold move. Ah, we'll be fine. 
you don't need more than two. Grants 10 to 20 radiant damage to weapon attacks. What does what does radiant damage do? It, it makes glitter and then glitter is more lucky hit chance. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I think Do we care about lucky hits, actually? Did I keep those gloves? I did keep the gloves. Yeah, we killed him so quickly. Tank his awful second phase attacks like I do, says Milt Thompson. Oh, we'll, we'll, we won't take a single hit. I'll be perfect. Because that's just how I roll, damn it. Abe Glency, the perfect streamer. Yeah, sure. Critical hit damage. So, in order to use Hyper Beam Staff, hold down the fire button, switch to it, switch away from it while holding the fire button down. As long as you never release the fire button on the weapon, it won't glitch out. That's how you use it. <laughs> Not ideal, but it works. All right. Milton Thompson says Eden, on the other hand, is a chump. Eden's way prettier. Tell frag me. What a jerk. Yes, walk into my hyper beam, you fool. See, told you, it didn't take any damage. Full HP. Look at all those red hearts and uh, red blasts. See, told you. That's a fun run. So yeah, Bard is uh, way more interesting now than he was previously. Synergizes into his weapon type which is the echo damage from uh, all instruments. Echo damage on all instruments gives you repeat damage. Well, okay. They count as repeat damage. They don't give you repeat damage. His character class gives you repeat damage. But that's, that's fun. I think there's another character that synergizes with repeat damage as well. I forget what it is, though. Might be like the gunslinger on dash repeat one attack or... The Shadow Clone Ninja as well. Let me see. Unlucky hit you have a repeat, so the Gunslinger has the synergy there. Still, Bard is a way more interesting character now, and I think part of the reason why I like him is because now we don't have to waste those 10 rooms or more to get the song sheets. Because previously you had to fill up his repertoire, and that always took a lot of value out of the run because you can only ever use one song at a time anyways. And you had to hold the book, so it was also one inventory slot down. So yeah, much better character design, I like it. And that was a fun run. For now, for those of you on YouTube, hey, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Tiny Rogues.